So who would ever think that a cauliflower could be the star of your meal? It's filled with classic stuffing, breadcrumbs, cheese, flavorful Italian spices. I add kale because you know me, I like my color. I'm Claudia with Eat Color with Claudia. Thanks for watching and tuning in to learn how to make this delicious family style dish. Let's get the cauliflower going. First thing we want to do is trim the stalk here. And you want to get all of these big leaves off. You know, you can start by just yanking them off. The big only trick that you got to be careful of is that the actual little flowerettes, you want to keep them on here. You don't want to accidentally cut them off. Now this big stem here too, just kind of cut it and shave it off. Sometimes I do just a little bit at a time. I'm being particular and just trying to get every little piece of green stem that I can because we want to have a clearing here to put the stuffing. So now I'm going to take this cute little cauliflower over the sink and my kale and we're going to wash it real good. So you know how they say when you wash your hands, you should wash your hands like for at least 20, 30 seconds. I'm not sure what the rule is, but cauliflower, because the florets are still all attached, you should run water over it for at least two minutes. So now we got to boil this cauliflower and I've got a rolling boil going. You have to add salt, a lot of salt, a lot of salt. And the reason being is because, again, we want to make sure that this cauliflower is really clean. So we're going to keep this for rolling boil for six minutes. And I just like to put a lid on there to keep the guy down so he doesn't float to the top. Let's get him out. Let him drain. And while this water is boiling here, we're going to throw our kale in. Oh, for just like just two minutes, just for it to get just a little bit soft. So while our cauliflower and the kale is cooling, we can make the stuffing. So we're going to start off with a half a cup of breadcrumbs, a tablespoon of oops, dried parsley, a teaspoon of dried oregano, a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, oh, a dash of salt, a dash of pepper, and we'll just stir this up a little one egg and we can just kind of lightly scramble this up a little and then we'll need two tablespoons of olive oil and a half a cup of vegetable broth and just give this a nice little stir we got to chop up our kale and so just chop it up into nice small pieces and now let's add the kale. We gotta preheat the oven to 400 degrees and we need two pans. I like to use a cake pan, one to put the cauliflower in and the other is you fill this with water and you put it on the very bottom rack of the oven. And you fill it with water because you wanna create humidity into the oven and that humidity helps cook this cauliflower perfectly. You can just fill this up from the sink, but like I spill the water all the way over to the oven. So I'm just going to fill a pitcher up and do it easy. Time to put the stuffing in. If it's a little bit dry, you can just, you know, just add just a little bit of the broth. So you have a nice, a nice consistency for the stuffing. Now we want to get the stuffing in like a large Ziploc bag. There's really no pretty way to do this, but to just dump it in. Okay, so we got it all in the bag here and I kind of put it to a corner and we are making a piping bag. And I just kind of squeeze it like this and just take a scissor and make just get a little hole going. Now it's time to the cauliflower. And we'll start off by turning him upside down. He should be cool enough for you to handle. We're going to start with in here and we're going to just squeeze the stuffing in there. Just like that. Wherever we find a hole, we're just going to kind of squeeze it in. Now we're going to turn it over. I forgot we need to get some cheese. I like to put a little cheese in here. So let me go get some cheese. 
So I'm just cutting up just a little bit of Munster cheese. You can use any cheese that you like um, that melts nice. And this has just got a really nice flavor. You don't need a whole lot. It's just really nice to bite in and just have a little bit of the cheese oozing out. It's so nice. Look at this cauliflower. We're going to stuff it. You have to be really careful that we don't break the cauliflower florets. Just go around and stick your cheese in. That's my dog bunny. There's no real rules. You could put as much of this cheese in there as you want. Okay, so now the fun part, guys. Now you get your piping bag and you'll find like holes and you squeeze your stuffing in there on top of your cheese and just kind of push and stuff it. So if you ever wanted to be a cake decorator, well, here, here's our chance and it doesn't have to look pretty. It just needs to get in there. Now, I'm kind of new at stuffing cauliflower. My mom never did this. But I tell you what, now that I've done it, we are hooked. <laughs> it tastes so good. So good. So now, it, does this not already look like a masterpiece? It's so fun. Now what we have to do is put a nice little glaze on top. We got two tablespoons of melted butter, two tablespoons of olive oil, a third cup uh, breadcrumbs, a quarter cup Parmesan cheese, a teaspoon of oregano, and just a little pinch of pepper and salt. I'm going to just stir this up. But kind of sprinkle and pat this on. Just kind of drizzle it all around here. I'm just patting the rest of these crumbs all the way around. I cannot wait for you to see this after it cooks. It's amazing. And while it's cooking, okay, so it's going to take about 40 minutes. And while it's cooking, I'm going to prepare the rest of our meal tonight. And I'm thinking we've got like a vegetarian vibe going. Do a little bit of polenta and some uh, Brussels sprouts and butternut squash. And the polenta is just really fun because you can kind of lay this cauliflower on there. I can't wait to show you. But anyway, we're going to get this in the oven and it's going to cook. We ready? This cauliflower, it makes such a beautiful presentation. I mean, you could serve this with any kind of beef and everything. You even serve just this cauliflower for um, like an appetizer. But tonight we're going vegetarian and it looks so pretty. Let me show you the inside of this. You are just going to flip. Look at this. Is that not beautiful? Look at all that stuffing and the kale and the cheese. Absolutely delicious. I have this polenta and then I can grab oh, a couple of Brussels sprouts. I just wanna show you how lovely all this looks together. This, mm. Oh wow, it's like butter, it's so good. Thank you for watching, please subscribe and I'll just see y'all next week.